Stage one pressing the light. stages are going to separate and the second engine will start and the first stage is then going to make its way back towards landing zone one um, with a boost back burn. You just saw the grid fins deploy. Quick recap for those of you that may have just joined us. We've had a successful launch of Falcon 9 uh, for Dragon to the International Space Station. We have had a stage separation, and on the left hand side is uh, the first stage, Falcon 9, returning back to landing zone 1 in Florida. We just had a, a phenomenal camera shot from our ground tracking cameras of uh, the first stage and second stage uh, separating, and then that first stage boost back burn. 
Uh, currently, the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen is about to enter its uh, re-entry burn phase. Ooh. This is when it slows itself down before it hits the dense part of the atmosphere so that there's no aerodynamic heating of those engines which are coming in head first. And that shot that you see on the right-hand side of your screen, that is the second stage engine glowing brightly. Personally, one of my favorite shots that we can get uh, during a launch as it carries Dragon towards the International Space Station. So first stage on the left-hand side, second stage on the right. On the left-hand side, uh, that first stage, you can see those cold gas thrusters. Uh, those are orienting the stage as it goes to the upper regions of the atmosphere. And then as the air gets thicker and thicker on its way down, we start using those grid fins, which you just saw deploy, uh, to steer the stage back towards a safe landing at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, landing zone one. Yeah. So we have a total of three burns that the first stage will perform. Uh, you've already saw the loose back burn. Uh, we're getting ready for the re-entry burn, and that's to slow it down. Uh, and then finally, the, the landing bone, uh, excuse me, the landing burn. And we're about 30 seconds away from that re-entry. You can actually see the edge of Cape Canaveral uh, in the screen on the left-hand side there. Uh, so uh, as we get closer and closer to the ground, we should be able to get continuous video all the way down towards touching down that pad. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. Daytime launch, can't get any better than that. They're gorgeous shots. Uh, remember on the right hand side, the primary mission, uh, that's a camera mounted towards the bottom of the second stage. Uh, on top of that second stage, uh, the Dragon spacecraft. Let's get an update on how it's doing right now. Uh, we're at T plus uh, five minutes and 55 seconds, and the second stage is full power towards the International Space Station. Uh, quick recap of the mission thus far. First stage had an on-time launch at uh, 1026 Eastern. Um, oh, uh, we've just moved into uh, entry burn startup, and you can see that happening on the screen uh, on your left. We had a, a nominal ascent. Second stage separated from the first stage, which is still moving towards landing zone one. The Dragon nose cone uh, was deployed. And power and trajectory are both still looking good on stage two. Okay, you want AFTS head saved? So we are just sec we are just seconds away from that landing burn. Uh, the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see it's getting very close to Cape Canaveral. Uh, in just a second or two, that landing burn, the center engine will light up and uh, take it softly down. Yes, yeah, so we should be seeing that in just a couple of seconds. Uh, we're just past T plus seven on the right-hand side, the second stage as it's carrying Dragon spacecraft towards the International Space Station, our primary mission. Uh, on the left-hand side, let's tune in and watch this landing burn. Landing burns just started, as you can see. Watch for those landing leg deploy. Uh, just a second. 